let us now study about the parallax method parallax is a name given to the apparent change in the position of an object with respect to the background when the object is seen from two different positions okay see this this is a definition there of parallax but let's see what does it mean okay so for that we take a pencil okay i have to keep it a little bit distance from me okay i keep it an arm length from me and then first what you must do you must see from a left eye okay to see from left eye what you must do you must close the right eye okay so and then we see the pencil okay against the background that's a wall there next not you just remember the position there next what you must do in the same way you close the left hand okay and then you can see the pencil's position has changed there there's small change in the pencil's position okay so that is called as a parallax okay it happens because our eyes are little bit distance from each other okay they are not exactly at the same at one point they are slightly distance okay so let us see this with an example or picture we will see okay so now what happens is our eyes are like this way at two distance point different distances this is the left eye and this is the right eye okay and this point is a pencil that is we will mark as o okay so we look from the left eye like this way and also we look from the right eye like this way okay you can see it makes an angle here that angle is theta okay so this calculation is done automatically by mind okay our brain will automatically do this okay by nature and then let us see the distance between the left eye and the right eye the distance we say it as a basis that is say b okay b is the basis okay let this distance here okay o r b x and this distance also is x okay so now we know that okay what you do is same way the pencil okay so when you look from left eye okay this distance will be x and when you look from right eye this distance distance is x okay and the distance between the two eyes is b okay the angle made okay, is the angle theta here okay it's so simple only you can try and see it okay it must be some distance away okay, when you keep it very close by you can't find it okay it must be little bit distance there so this method is useful for finding the distance of uh, very long distance that's the distance of the moon or distance of planets and all okay suppose you want to find the distance of the planet mars we can use easily use the method to find the distance there okay let's go with the uh, definition now now you see in this case o l and o r they are considered to be the radius of a circle okay i'll write this down o l and o r are considered to be the radii of the circle okay radii of a circle we'll just don't see it okay the whole thing will say the sector then l r this distance here, l r that's equal to we say b okay b means what it's called as a basis okay b a s a s basis now we see this uh, will draw as a sector here okay will draw a sector and uh, this angle is theta this is s and this is r okay we know that uh, from this sector formula s is equal to r into theta that is a sector formula okay from this what is theta equal to okay from this formula on right this side so theta is equal to r will go down now so s by r okay so you can understand it okay r goes down so theta is equal to s by r okay now okay i'll just write it down okay s by r is equal to theta when you rearrange theta is equal to s by r it's not so simple now same way we must find using in this triangle okay so theta in this triangle is equal to this here yes okay so instead of s what we have or the basis here we have this thing here that is l r that is b okay we have a b okay see that same way opposite theta is yes now so opposite theta is b okay and instead of radius we have here x so b by x here what is our aim our aim is to find the distance there okay the distance is given by as x okay so cross multiply and interchange so we get here x is equal to b by theta okay so this gives us the distance of the planet or distance of any far away object okay x is equal to b by theta so you must know the basis there that means distance between the two points and then the angle which is made okay so this is very useful suppose you want to find the distance of the moon we don't need to take a tape and go and measure the distance there okay by just knowing the distance between the two points and the angle which is made we can easily find the thing that is distance there okay so next we'll see a method how to find the distance of the moon okay by using the 
parallax method that's next topic okay so thank you for watching